Hey guys, Frosty here. We got a series of victories here. We got this here Perkins engine. Now we're not quite done yet, but this beautiful shiny new snow chipper for snow season is coming together nicely. Now this one was bought without an engine. It came across the border just uh, back end only. And it comes from Sinaloa from a company called Reeds and it is a really really nice machine. Uh, we had had this spare Perkins engine. We got two engines when we got our last machine and it was my job to find some motor mounts. Hold those two cross pieces and the braces in and mount the engine. We got her lined up pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. We used our trusty Vulcan 215. Please excuse how messy my workbench is. It is a train wreck over there. And we'll go through a workbench video when we get her cleaned off. You'll see how I got my chargers mounted up there. We need another piece of pegboard, but there's a fun story about that bench. We did not buy a damn thing is these two things right here. Now that there is a GTS drag frame I bought quite a while ago. It's got a live axle in the rear. It's got a street tire in the front. And it is a beauty. So we finally got the adjustable motor plate from Go Power Sports. We were able to get the motor lined up. And that is the 236. And she actually fired and ran tonight. That's the 236. Right now it's got a Hilliard clutch with the heaviest springs I could get in there. Um, that's an old pipe, but it'll do for right now. And it's happy. I gotta change the grips. Uh, that paint job doesn't do the bike justice, but it was sitting here rusting. I had to do something, so. I painted her blue. We gotta get a couple more screws in the seat. But this poor bike has just been sitting there. It had a Harbor Freight Ghost sitting in it. And I just figured it, it wouldn't do the bike justice. I mean, every weld, every bend, everything on this bike is a work of art. I mean, the boys down there at GTS do a fantastic job. I mean, just a beautiful job. I bought the thing as a roller. I guess somebody had ordered it and decided that the live axle was slowing them down. So I had them put a bracket on there and a rear caliper in this beautiful hub assembly for the rear brake. I believe that's all Azusa stuff. It's got a fat slick going there. And that's the pull starter and fan shroud off uh, my Tillotson 212, which is in there. I'm waiting for the head to get done. I ordered some valves from Perio this week. Ruben's going to be working on that. And I, I might have a picture of how the porting's coming along. That's going to be a neat little Hemi project. That might actually end up in here. Now we fired her up. It's hard to pull start. Now, I don't know, since I didn't CC that head, whether it's a 14cc or an 18cc, but that means this motor is somewhere between 12 to 1 and 13 and a half to 1. I know it's a zero deck. I did measure that. And I know I got an 032 copper gasket on there. Um, I figure it's got to be 12 to 1. If it was... 13 and a half, I don't think I'd have been able to pull start it, but man has it got some pop. It sings. The only thing is <clears throat> that intake manifold and what I had to mount that flat slide really sucks. It's loading up, it's dribbling fuel, and I just could not get it adjusted right. When I went to adjust the air screw in the back, it started racing like it's got a hair leak somewhere, so what I'm going to do for now to get her running again is I'm going to replace this flat slide 
with a VM26, VM22 style carb, 26 millimeter. I've got one that's already got a 130 main in it and a 38 pilot. Should be about perfect. And I gotta find the puke tank. I've got a beautiful puke tank for this bike sitting here somewhere. It'll go on the back frame leg. Hook it up to that uh, second spigot on the Gold Power Sports valve cover there. And we'll give this thing a rip. See how she goes. No, well, I'm not gonna drag race this thing. I'm pushing 300 pounds. I mean, that would just be a joke. One of the lighter guys might want to take it, or maybe I can get somebody to take her out and make a pass, help me get her dialed in just so she runs good. Who knows? Maybe we'll find us a jockey. I mean, this is South Central. Compton is just a few blocks away. But this has been a work in progress for quite a while, and I am just thrilled to have heard it run. Now, that fillet motor plate, that thing is a beauty. It lets you adjust your motor left and right, front and rear. I would highly recommend getting one of those no matter what you're building. It just makes it so much easier. Now I like to run the 41 chain. That's got a 10 tooth in the front and currently a 44 in the rear. Um, 7,500, this thing should go 65 mile an hour, 8,500, it should go uh, 75, something like that, 79, 9,500, which I'd be fucking scared, it'll go 85 miles an hour. Above that, it just don't have enough cam and enough cylinder head on it to do that. Oh, back here in the back of the shop. Hiding behind my very first bike, which is a part to get repainted and repowered. That's either going to be Big Block or Briggs Model 15, I haven't quite decided yet. It is the new bike, the Animal. Now, this is GTS's 5 inch frame with the tabs on the bottom for the rear axle. They removed the scrub brake put on a disc for me that I do that with all my bikes and we got us some Azusa black powder coated 10 inch wheels on there pro taper bars Megamoto telescopic front suspension a beautiful aluminum cylinder gas tank I mean this thing if, again every weld every bend everything they did on this bike is just perfection. And I was telling the guys here, I don't need to prove to anybody that I can assemble a bike. I just, I had all these parts lying around. I took them over there, had them weld me up a frame and put her together for me because I knew, you know, these guys do it every day. They know what they're doing. They take pride in what they do and they deliver just a beautiful product. So, there's the new one. Now, they built this exhaust for me. Multi stage. Got a nice support on there. They got me the gold 41 chain. And that's got a 42 sprocket. And with that wheel height, I mean, if, if this thing ever saw 7,500, it'd go 95 miles an hour. That's not going to happen with that clutch. I think that clutch would just go. Man. So, I thought about hanging some weight on it, but that clutch is going to have to go on the drag frame. I mean, that's what I bought it for. Those are rated to 17 horsepower. Might take 20. You know, we'll give it a shot. Eventually, we're going to have to buy a bully. But, in the state of tune that 236 is in right now, I think that Cheetah might match up to it just perfect. We'll put that on there and give it a shot. You know, maybe in the next couple of weeks when we got some time. But I just thought it would look 
bitching on there. And it does. And the pro taper bars. I have some pro taper grips to put on there. I am just just thrilled with the way this thing came out. So thrilled that we're not even going to paint it. We're going to wipe this thinning down with you know some acetone or some lacquer thinner, clear it, and call it a day. That's the new one. Hope you enjoyed that. Modifications to come. But for now, I think we're just going to get her running and driving. Uh, toying around with uh, putting a torque converter on it. I have a juggernaut driver in a box somewhere and a brand new 30 series. So stay tuned, guys.